talk about walking through both of the goals that you scored? Um, the first one, I was just working off the shoulder of a defender, and I was just looking to just stay wide and stay outside, and I saw that Ali Long was just keeping the ball, so I was calling for it, calling for it, calling for it. I, I didn't give up on that run, so and I just you know focused on finishing low, far post, and the second second goal, I was just looking just to you know play high and split the two uh, central defenders. I saw Mana Shim just wind up with her left foot to put that long ball, and I just ran onto it, and I saw the goalkeeper come out and just wanted to just get it over her and get it to the net. How did it feel to score those goals in front of the home crowd on that end of the field there? Oh, words can't even explain it, but at the end of the day, it was absolutely incredible and phenomenal, and it doesn't get any better than that with the fan base like that. How important was it for you guys to set, kind of set the tone by getting your first win at home? Extremely, because, you know, we have to prove a point here. You know, we, we're defending champions, or, you know, some of the girls were last year. So, and our main focus today was to get three points at home, and that's what it will be for the rest of the season, get three points at home. We're, we're not looking forward to losing here. Paul, Paul was talking about how wanting to see you make it a little bit harder for Alex Morgan to get back on the field. What, what's it like when you start playing, you know, you're playing alongside two unbelievable strikers like this? You know, it's actually incredible because, you know, you look up to players like that and, you know, when you come into preseason, you have to, you know, prove that you belong on the field with them. So that's that was my main focus, you know, proving to not only just, you know, Paul, but the Portland Thorns organization in general, just, you know, to prove that, you know, I, I can be on this field with these girls and, you know, looking up to these girls as well. So it's been absolutely incredible. Jessica, this is your third team in a year now. Um, in that light, is... Is there a tendency to look at tonight as a potential breakthrough performance for you, something that could really solidify your place in the league? Oh, definitely. You know, um, as soon as I landed in Portland, you know, I didn't want to go anywhere else because I, I felt comfortable here immediately in comparison to the other teams that I've been with. So, yeah, it's, it's just been great since. Can you talk about that a little bit more? Like, what was it about Portland that distinguished it from Chicago and Seattle? Well, Apart from, you know, the fan base, apart from just the organization in general, um, just, you know, the free spirit that they have here in, in the city, you know, I'm, I'm walking in the city, you know, just to get used to it and get used to the environment, and I ran to just random people, and I had conversations with them, just random strangers, so, you know, I felt comfortable, comfortable here right off the bat. So. Um, Coach Riley talked about how the crowd kind of Will you guys into those sec the, the last two goals? Um, can you guys talk about that a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Um, after you know, Ali Long's uh, PK, you know, as soon as that happened, you know, the crowd started to you know really cheer us on and started to get a little rowdy. And you know, the second half, you know, they got a little louder and a little louder. So that just kept you know the pace of our game, you know, the same or you know the tempo up a little bit more. So. Your team are, are the defending champions. You've got. Um, the best attendance, support in the league. There's a lot of good players. Is there an expectation uh, with this team that you guys have performed? Um, definitely, because you know, being defend, defending champions, you know, we have to you know prove that we truly are a great team, and truly that you know prove that we can you know play together, and you know just it takes one step at a time to really come together. And a team like this, when we put all of our strengths together, we, we look great out there. So. Thanks, Jess. Thank you.